she comes across like diamonds, diamonds Easy in love when the lights are low She comes in to focus, focus The closer she gets, the more I know She takes more whiskey than my wine, I wine Well, tonight I've had a couple of whiskeys already and I'm feeling kind of tired. In fact, I fell asleep while editing the uh, the uh, video for the second whiskey. I don't know. It's just that I've been, my sleeping and waking have been a little off lately. But no matter. What I had so far was the uh, Glenbergie 15, the Valentine's Glenbergie 15. The next one was an Akintoshan American Oak, which was quite interesting. And now I've got the Ardbeg Drum. I haven't had the Ardbeg Drum yet. I had the committee release, but not the drum. Let's get the dust off of this sturdy box. Pull out the bottle like so. And there it is. The Ardbeg Drum. Now I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour a dram and after I've poured that dram I'm going to... there it is. After I've poured that dram I'm going to read what's on the bottle and or on the box. Let you know what they have there and then I'm going to nose it and taste it. Uh, not too tight a cork on that. There we go, Ardbeg Drum, 750 mils, bottled at 46% ABV. What does it say on here? On the bottle first. Uh, the Ultimate Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey Limited Edition. Take Ardbeg Scotch Whiskey from Ex Bourbon Casks. Rest it a while in Ex Rum Casks from the Americas, and you have Ardbeg Drum. Uh, Flamboyant jamboree of flavors. Okay. Stop right there. What does it say on the back here? Uh, the rambustuous revelry began. Okay. On Isla, our passion for festivity is the lifeblood of our famous island spirit. Um... I think it says the same thing as it did on the committee release. Distilled and bottled in Scotland. Okay. So this is essentially the same as the committee release, but it's a lower ABV. And what does it say on the box? Hard big drum. Non-chill filtered, limited edition. Okay, same thing as it said on the uh, on the bottle, and here. On Isla, our passion for festivity is the very lifeblood of famous island spirit, and this year on Isla, which is last year, we're adding a dash of carnival flavor to our customer. Carnival color to our customary Art Bag Day ritual in a truly thrilling Caribbean twist. So, to celebrate, we're all set to reveal, to revel in this exquisite bottling and its scrumptious jamboree flavors. Uh, in a first for Art Bag Distillery, we've taken Art Bag Scotch Whiskey from X Bourbon Casks, then rested it a while in X Rum Cask for the, from the Americas, giving us Art Bag Rum. Okay. And on the bottom here, in an Isla time gone by on the first day, on the last day of the 
fish eel, fish, the festival. Locals transformed everything from tractors to wheelbarrows into magnific magnificent floats. If it had wheels, they decorated it. I've read this somewhere before. <laughs> In fact, probably for the um, committee release. So, let us move on to the Ardbeg drum. Hmm. I'm getting something piney, piney and creosote. Pine, creosote. Um, usually at this point I would get a citrus, but I'm getting um, more tropical like pineapple still there is that um, that creosote there a little bit of tar pineapple again uh, a hint of something minty Yeah, something minty with my pineapple. Now it's morphing again to pine needles and tar, and it's a bit malty. But the the um, the creosote and the pineapple are the dominant notes that I'm getting. Yeah, some interesting things going on here. A little bit of mint, a little bit of pine needles or resin. There's a little bit of that usual citrus wanting to come out. Is it more of a pine, a pine, uh, lime, or yeah, it's a little bit more of a lime, but there's a piney tinge to it, and interesting and curious. Yeah, there's the lime. Deep down is the lime underneath all that pineapple and pine resin. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's natural color, it's quite light. Let's see what happens to the legs. Not too bad, looks like it has some viscosity to it. And they do slide down, but they don't slide down all that fast. Again, yeah, interesting. Let's uh, taste. Wait, have a bit of water first. Now we taste.
I'd break in right about here and let you know how much this thing cost me because I forgot to do that on the initial um, video. Ardbeg drum, one times 750 milliliters, 169.99 plus the 10 cent bottle deposit. British Columbia liquor tax, $17 and goods and services tax, $8.50. A grand total of $195.59 for the Ardbeg drum. Did I say that? $195.59? That's a little much for the experience so far. I hope this thing opens up. It's piney and dry. The mm. I think it needs a second sip. Just because the first one is kind of dulling my senses. It's like I, I'm getting all those things on the nose. Then when I taste it, it kind of flat. See again. It's quite sweet for an art bag. I'm getting some pineapple. I'm getting some, I guess, rum mixed in with my with my smoke and peat. It's a little, it's sweet. It's sweeter than your average hard bag. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of pineapple in there. Just a little hint of lime, but very, very, it's just on the edge. I can barely get that. It's um, sweet like rum, and I think the sweetness takes away from the um, from the smokiness and the peatiness and I don't know. Yeah, okay. There is a smoky, dry finish to the whole thing after the sweetness has moved aside. But it's a lot sweeter than your average hard bag. And uh, it's different. It is not what I was expecting. And uh, just out of curiosity, how different is that? from the committee release. Uh, it's got me going now. <laughs> Here I have once again our committee release. Uh, and there's the art bag drum. So the committee release I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, Art bag down here. Committee release next to it here. <sighs> Let's do a little compero, shall we? Hmm. Interesting. Committee release is bottled at 52. 
so it's slightly more than the art bag drum. Okay. I seem to be getting more. Oh, yeah. More sweetness on the drum. Much sweeter on the drum. The com committee release seems to be more smoky and better balanced. Not as sweet as the drum. I find the drum too sweet for my taste. Oh, I'll drink it, yeah. But for an art bag, it doesn't really hit the spot for me. Maybe it will get better as the level of the fill level goes down. I don't know. Maybe the sweetness will fade and the smoke will come out more. I couldn't tell you. But I'll tell you one thing. Slanchova. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.